In this example of the one period binomial option pricing, we consider a stock whose current price per share is $50. A call option is written on this stock with an exercise price of $45. Expiration date is one year, and currently the risk free interest rate is 5%. The upside parameter is 1.2 and the downside parameter is 1.8. In other words, if the stock moves up, it's going to move up by a factor of 1.2. If it moves down, it moves down by a factor of 1.8. So here, in this one period world, we find that the stock can move up in price from $50 to $60 or move down from $50 to $40. If it moves up to 60, then the intrinsic value of the option is 15, which is 60 minus the exercise price of 45 shown here. And so this option is in the money with an intrinsic value of 15. Now though, your portfolio of long stock and short call would be equal to 45, which is the value of your stock of 60 minus the intrinsic value of the option. Keep in mind that this option is a liability to you because you wrote the call. And since you wrote the call, you're liable to pay the call option holder the intrinsic value of 15. Therefore, this portfolio, this hedge portfolio, is one that gives you a value equal to stock minus option. Now, in the same vein, if the stock goes down to 40, then the intrinsic value of the option is zero because the option is out of the money. The call is worthless and so the value of your portfolio is forty dollars. So now as you can see in this example where you are matching one share of stock with one call you do have exposure as you can see the value of your hedge portfolio when the stock goes up is different from what it would be if the stock goes down. The difference being five. So the question we ask here is, how can we construct a riskless hedge such that the number of shares of stock we purchase would cause the value of this hedge portfolio to be the same when the stock goes up as it would be when the stock goes down? And in a different video presentation, I showed that that riskless hedge ratio is as shown here, the ratio of the difference in the call prices and the option values and the difference in the stock prices. So that calculates to be 0.75, meaning that we should purchase 0.75 share of stock for every call that we sell to hedge our stock position. So with that, that means that the value of our stock right now would be equal to 37.5. So what we're doing differently in this next picture is to show our investments, our positions in terms of their total values as opposed to just simply price per share. So the total value of our stock would be the price per share of 50 multiplied by the number of shares of 0.75. And I know it sounds odd that we're looking at number of shares in terms of uh, fractions. But keep in mind, we're trying to determine a ratio so that for any number of shares that you ultimately choose to invest in, you would apply the same ratio. It could be 75 shares for every 100 calls or 750 shares for, every, for a thousand calls. So back here, with a stock value of 37 and a half, it means that that when the stock goes up to 60, as shown here, then the total value of the stock would be 45, which is 60 multiplied by the hedge ratio of 0.75. And since, of course, the um, call intrinsic value is 15, it means that the total portfolio value would be 30, which is the value of our stock of 45 minus the intrinsic value of the option of 15. Likewise, when the stock goes down to 40, which would cause the total value of our stock to be 30, which is 40 multiplied by 0.75, then that will lead to a total portfolio value also of 30, because 
given that our call option is out of the money, the total value of the portfolio would be 30, which is the value of the stock minus zero. So as you can see here, truly, this 0.75 is the risk-less hedge ratio that we're after. With that, you can see that the value of our hedge portfolio is the same regardless of the direction of stock prices. So the question is, what's the value of this portfolio today? We take the present value of it to get 28.54. And here's the calculation right here. So this being the value of our hedge portfolio, the question is, what then is the option value today? Now again, the value of our portfolio is equal to the value of stock minus the option value. So the option value solving algebraically would be equal to the value of our stock, which is 37.5, minus the value of our hedge portfolio, which is 28.54. That comes down to 8.96, which is our calculated theoretical price of the call option. And that concludes this presentation. I'm Pat Obi, Professor of Finance at Purdue University, Calumets.